Happy weekend, oil traders, and happy Thanksgiving to fellow Canadians.、Um, it's Sunday morning here on October 8th, and I thought we'd do a, re- a review of the week past,、uh, October 2nd through the 6th,、um, which saw us go from the、uh, mid 51s or high 51s、uh, even. Um, to nearly 49 even.、Uh, we got as low as 49.11、um, on、uh, Friday and settled、uh, not much higher than that.、Um, and we had quite a bit of volatility in addition to that,、um, bouncing from、uh, just below $50 back up to just above $51 before actually making our descent down to that 49 level that I just mentioned. And of course, that played into my approach quite well. Um, having hedged on the bounce and as well as hedged on the <laughs> top prior to the reversal.、Um, so I got to play both sides,、um, which, as you guys know, hasn't really been、um, in the cards for me in weeks past.、Um, so it was nice to finally get a week that worked.、Um, so, what happened? So, basically, on Monday, we started our descent, like I said, from kind of the mid or upper 51s, and we reached as low as Uh, just above $50. And on that initial descent, basically, I got an opportunity to sell three、uh, short positions. I actually could have sold a fourth short position,、um, and I didn't.、Um, and it、uh, would have been a wise thing to do. And that plays into what I did on Friday, which I'll explain in a moment. But basically, I sold three short positions, and the fourth short position was barely in the money, basically, break even. And I chose to hang on to it. Um, on the possibility basically that we would just keep going down,、uh, which of course we did not. We kind of leveled off and then ultimately bounced back up.、Um, I ultimately did get to sell that fourth short position、um, as part of my Friday trade, but the reason why I feel that it was a mistake to not sell、um, that fourth short position was. Kind of contributed to my,、uh, my, my logic on, on Friday. But let's take a look at the results first for that uh, uh, Monday trade. So, Monday, October 2nd,、um, basically, as you can see here, I got out of the September 20th, 21st, and 28th、um, short positions.、Um, they were really tightly、um, bound together, especially the 20th and 21st. Um, short positions.、Um, you may remember that that was a trade that I did kind of on emotion, so I was more than happy to get out of that.、Um, I would have taken a break even、um, just to kind of put my mind at ease, really,、um, but it worked out, fortunately.、Um, and not only that, but then I, as you can see here on October 5th, I had sold a long position. HOU is the Um, bull ticker from Horizons ETF for crude oil. And on the 5th, I sold the October 2nd long. So on October 2nd, as we fell、um, to the、uh, lower 50s, I actually bought long in anticipation of a bounce, which we didn't actually get until Thursday.、Um, so, you know, it, it was a tough call, but it was my only long position at that point. Um, I had already sold all my longs previous to that.、Uh, so, even if we had continued to, dis- to descend, I felt quite comfortable holding that long position for however long I would need to. Now, if I had sold that fourth short position on Monday, even a minor bounce that we got on early,、uh, the following day on Tuesday to the upper 50s. Upper、uh, 50s would have been a great opportunity to reposition that short that I had from the lower 50s. So that short was at about 50 20,、um, and being able to get in to, back into it at 50 60 or 50 70 would have been fantastic.、Um, it would be, make our, my Friday trade that much more profitable. So in the future, and which is what I did on Friday, if I have an opportunity to sell multiple. Uh, positions where one or more of them are break even or small profit, that's what I'm going to do.、Um, basically, I'm not going to hope that it just continues to descend and move in my favor, but rather trade on whatever the market is telling me is the reality at that time. And if the reality was that、uh, the market had a consensus that the price of crude was above $50. That's what I should have traded on and not expect it to be closer to 49 or whatever. 
So um, like I said, I bought long and I managed to sell that long on Friday, or excuse me, on Thursday when we rallied back up to above $51. Now I sold it at the original target price that I had from Tuesday of $50.75. And as you can see on Thursday, we plowed right past $50.75 and made it all the way above $51. Um, and on that move, I managed to sell the long position at the original target price, but then I also bought short at almost the very top, which was um, uh, quite nice. Uh, I bought at, a, I believe it was 50.85. Uh, we made it to as high as uh, 51.22, so uh, you know, within 25 or 30 cents of where I purchased, so quite happy with that. Um, and as you can see, the profits were mounting. So the profits from the Monday sell-off of those three shorts was $7.79 almost. And then the sale of that one long position as we fell on Thursday was uh, $2.95. And uh, prior, to, prior to the fall, I should say. Um, on Friday, when we started the fall, I sold three more short positions. Um, so basically, I had sold uh, two short positions in addition to that one short that I never got out of uh, on Monday. So I sold the short that I bought on Thursday when we spiked up in addition to that one that I never got out of on Monday and then one more at basically break even. So uh, I sold the last position that I sold was at I, I sold all three short positions at a crude price of 4948 which was break even on the third short position and as you can see we fell even lower so I could have in theory taken a small profit on that third short position had I waited longer um, I waited just a few minutes into the market open um, but my logic just as before was that if we do manage to bounce up even even you know somewhat to kind of the mid 49s it makes it much more profitable to reposition that short rather than hope that we actually make it through 49 into the 48s so that's what i did um, so basically i sold at 1078 which was the the price of the etf the hod ticker etf um, at, and you can see that the third short position was exactly at that sale price so basically at break even um, the other two were profitable, so it amounted to a profit of $1,031. Um, so yeah, pretty nice week. Um, and it was really nice, most of all, not just because of the profits, but to have an opportunity to play both sides. So basically I got to sell multiple short positions twice, um, which was part of kind of my new modified approach as well as profit from a long hedge position, which I've also now repurchased again. So um, on Friday when we descended, just as we when we descended on Monday, I bought long and I managed to sell that a few days later for a profit. So when we descend when we descended on Friday, I not only sold those three shorts, but I bought long, which you can see here if we flip over to my portfolio on tradingjournal.ca. Um, you can see here that I bought long on October 6th um, for about uh, just under 15% uh, portfolio weighting. So not, not a long, kind of a medium sized position. Um, and it's of course ending out of the money at this moment, um, but I'm not terribly concerned for the time being for the same reasons that it's my only long position. So even if I have to hold it for quite a while, um, I like having that uh, my portfolio a little bit better balanced. Um, as you guys might have heard, we've got another hurricane heading into the Gulf. So what that spells for the price of crude, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Um, you would think that it means that crude is going to go up, but uh, news this past week was bullish and we went down anyway. So who knows? Um, I'm certainly happy to have a long position in the portfolio now. So if we do go up, it gives me the opportunity to profit from that long. And as you can imagine, I will be buying short again if we do go up. Um, what those target prices will be sort of depends on where we go on Monday. As you guys may know, it's Thanksgiving here for us Canadians. So markets are closed on Monday. So basically, I'm just going to be on the sidelines waiting to see what happens. 
and I'll touch base with you guys ahead of market open on Tuesday to see kind of where the price of crude has settled and um, how I'm going to trade accordingly. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this week past and what you think of the week ahead. You can hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, etc, etc. Uh, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back, like I said, ahead of markets open on Tuesday here in Canada. And until then, good luck. Cheers. Thank you.